Stavara, I found Vince. You were right to have a bad feeling. What are you saying, Adam? Is he... Yeah. He should have been pulled months ago. It's all over his profile. Vince lost his edge. A person tries to be two things at once, sometimes he ends up not being either of them. He becomes lost. I'll take your word for it. I'm gonna let you be the one to break this to Miller. Right. Of course. Be careful out there, Adam. Welcome, welcome. Nice gear you've got here. All high-end. And you look like you know high-end. Which biotech did your job? Not Isole. They don't come in black. You try this on all your customers? Just the ones made of carbon fiber. As one enthusiast to another, you can tell me. Gonna have to disappoint you. Maybe you can make it up to me. You look like the kind of man who might have access to breach software. That stuff's illegal. Come on, man, don't play around. You know why it's illegal. You know the world governments don't want us to find out their dirty secrets. But we will, and you can help us. Be part of the revolution. Anyway, just think about it. All the details are in the computer. Want to have a look? To sell or to buy? Sure. Great. Go ahead.
You came to Prague to browse? I'm good for now. I'm not going to pull a social log on you. Seems as though there are more for you than you. Janus, if this is your idea of a face-to-face -face meeting, I'm not impressed. You didn't think I would jump on a plane to Prague, did you? I guess not. The conversation we recovered, you know who Manjali was talking to, don't you? Robert Page, CEO of Page Industries and owner of the First Life Corporation. He's a multi-billionaire. Doesn't mean we can't arrest both of them for conspiracy to commit murder. We heard Page give the order to kill Rucker in a recorded conversation that you obtained illegally. It's fruit from the poisonous tree, Mr. Jensen. It won't stand up in court. What about this orchid, then? Can we find out more about it? I think we should find out. I'm digging on my end, but there may be something you can do in Prague. First Life has an account at the Palisade Property Bank. If you can get to their data vault, we may find some of the answers we're looking for. You're telling me to break into a bank? Ark is being manipulated, set up to take the fall for something. Most likely another terror attack. Fine. What about this Brown? Page mentioned him and some sort of council. Nathaniel Brown, maybe, head of the Santo Group? Perhaps. Nathaniel Brown stands to earn trillions if the Human Restoration Act passes, but... Janus. Adam! The site's been compromised. I just spotted sentry drones headed your way. What? How? I wasn't followed. Maybe somebody at PRE detected Janus's hack into the electrical grid. I don't know. Just get out of there.
You missed a stick, my heart. I did not like the way those guards from the bank were looking at me earlier. Mr. Jensen, it's Nomad Stanek. Please, please, you must help. Mr. Stanek, how did you... My daughter. They're going to kill her. I gave your friends the slip, and when, when I got to here... Where? The Prakaska district. An apartment complex behind the laundromat. Please, hurry. City run by criminal. I can't go on like this. Adam, you okay? Those drones... I'm fine. Whoever sent them didn't succeed. Oh, thank God for that. Listen, Janus just called. Versa Life is closing their account, moving everything out of that data vault tonight. This can't wait. You gotta get over there now. I can't. I found the bomb maker. She can tell us everything. But she's about to be killed. What? Shit, man. They're cleaning up blue sands. I can't break into a bank. Not by myself. And if we don't do this now, we lose the orchid. Fuck! But if I don't go to the Prokowska district, the bomb maker dies, and we're back to square one. <sighs> Your call, man. Oh, he's breaking down. Alex, did Janus actually have a plan for this robbery? Or does he expect me to shoot my way to the vault? He had someone slip a package into the bank manager's car. Someone? It's parked in the employee parking garage. Let me know when you've got it. I'm glad you're doing this, Adam. There's supposed to be a data rod and an access card inside, but the card is blank. Janus said we need to imprint it with biometrics from an active account holder. So what? Kidnap somebody and steal their DNA? <laughs> Maybe next week. Tonight we can get what's needed from an office on the third... Okay, Alex, I got the package. Now what? There's supposed to be a data rod and an access card inside, but the card is blank. Janus said we need to imprint it with biometrics from an active account holder. So what? Kidnap somebody and steal their DNA? <laughs> Maybe next week. Tonight we can get what's needed from an office on the third floor. According to a contact, the bank keeps Klein's profile on a secure terminal there. So all I gotta do is get through security to find it. Great. Yes, since 2017. However, this particular building was completed in 2004. Jensen, it's Smiley. Your friend, Nomad Stanek, escaped custody. Agent Riley said he was... Yeah, I heard. His daughter's in trouble. Trouble? What kind of trouble? You know where they are? Adam, you need to go find them, both of them, before it's too late. I'm on it. Picked up something. Don't know when I can get through. I just received the update code from my team. Good. I asked them to send you the current protocol. You know, they really should be sending this out to you regularly. It's okay. I know about protocol. They must be approved by... The room is booked for the board. I heard. Wait, I'm not kidding. I walked into Oshiro's office not 30 seconds after. Where are you, Mr. Jensen? You said you were coming. I got caught up in something. I'll be there soon, Mr. Stanek. There is no more soon. You are too late. My little girl is gone. She's gone to their ascension. Mr. Stanek. Nomad. Anomaly detected. 
Trace program initiated. Access granted. Alex, you still with me? I'm accessing the biometric terminal now. How's this supposed to work? The way Janus explained it, malware on the card will look for the profile of an authorized Versalife representative and clone it. I thought he said the card was blank. Technically, I said it. Sorry. But the card should be active now. Find the elevator to the basement and try it. Center of some disturbing health news right now. The most significant sound. The access card worked, Alex. I'm in the elevator, heading down. Janus is good, man. He said security measures prevent wireless communications near the vault, so you and I will lose contact soon. Meaning I'll be on my own from here on in. Just until you enter the Versalife vault and plug the data rod into their terminal. Janus should be able to contact you directly once it's installed. He had me load a bunch of malware on it. Of course, you have to reach the vault access room and call down the Versalife vault first. If you're stopped by security... Yo, this is basically a data... Also the ones under the most scrutiny, the ones that have to jump through the most hoops. Rightfully so. When you're only answer the stockholders and the bottom line is your only concern, concern. let me tell you, the way you make decisions is completely with you. <laughs> How would you know? You're a security guard. Speaking of that, let's get back to it.
Just in case somehow you can hear me, I'm about to call down the Versalite Vault, Alex. Janus, can you hear me? Yes. The link is weak, but I can strengthen it. Wait, what are you doing? The data rod contains a secret program. It's flagging everything it finds on Project Orchid and sending it to me. Wait, wait, that's an audio file. Can I hear it? Hello? Bob, it's Megan. Those Orchid samples you told my new assistant to send to Switzerland? I asked him not to bother you with that. It's okay. I told him he could. But it's just... I've never heard of this guard facility before. A recent acquisition. I'll have to take you there someday. That's not necessary. Listen, the changes we made to the Orchid's CAS enzymes, they're incredibly dangerous. Until we perfect the replacement-based fragment, GARM's researchers must keep a neutralizing enzyme on hand. I've read your reports, Megan. I know all about the failures of the CRISPR molecule. I'm even keeping a sample of the neutralizer inside a secure vault in case your research gets corrupted. You are? Trust me, you have nothing to worry about. Thank you. I just wanted to be sure this time. Good night, Bob. Good night, my dear. Megan. Dr. Reed, you seem disappointed. She joined VersaLife shortly before Seraph Industries closed. I assumed you knew. I don't suppose you know anything about this facility in Switzerland. Garm? I've been digging into it ever since your ex said the name. It was a geological research center until 2025, when Bell Tower Associates bought it. They didn't list it on their balance sheet when they filed for bankruptcy. I guess they also forgot to mention the Spec Ops unit that went AWOL. I have to get to Garm. What are you thinking? I'm thinking about the augmented mercs who ambushed us in Dubai. If Paige sent them the Orchid. That's everything. Unless they're storing something physical in there. Either way, I suggest you leave soon. With the vault in that position, you should be able to exit through the shaft. Good luck, Mr. Jensen. Please don't forget the data rod when you leave.
initiated. Access granted. Jensen, I've got a lead on the augmented mercs who ambushed us in Dubai. You're supposed to be investigating the train station attack. Just hear me out. There's a research facility. Not like this, you don't. I'm en route to Prague now. She'll be landing at Chicane's helipad any minute. I'll hear you out there. Miller out. calibrator on you? If you do, man, I'm ready to optimize that crazy system of yours. I got everything I need now to fix you up real good. You mean the way you fixed me up last time? No, no, no. This is gonna be different, huh? Back love's honor. Just get to the lab and you'll see. Man, did you hear Lazarus' late? He said he will not You shouldn't listen to that crap. It will Rock your face. Are you insane? He's the only one telling us the truth. He is crazy. The whole damn idea is crazy. Illuminati. I just heard what happened. God, right outside your apartment? What happened outside my apartment? Someone got all their implants torn out. Was left to bleed to death in the alley. When I first heard where it was, I thought... I'm fine, Aria. It wasn't me. Be careful going home. It's not the first one of these I've heard about. The data. Sometimes fires are accidental. The time machine. They fire to the...
Things with Otar aren't going so well, Jensen. Sorry about your place, Kohler. Are you all right? Physically, yes. Emotionally, I... I just kind of... You know, I actually had some real good books up there. The bookstore was kind of a front, sure, but it was my front. The version of me I presented to the world. That... That means something. It means whatever deal you thought you had with the Diwali's is apparently off. My deal? Right. There's something you're not telling me about why Otar's got it in for you. Maybe he is just angry, you know? He takes it out on me because... because I'm prettier than he is. Or maybe he just really doesn't like books. It's possible, right? Look, let's just calibrate that rig of yours, huh? I finally figured out how to optimize you, man! I know you may not want to talk about what happened to your store. I get where you're coming from, okay? But try to understand, Jensen. I'm a guy who likes to respect privacy. Especially if the other person is someone who can kill me. Which is real good for you, actually. It goes both ways. You're willing to ignore what happened? I am trying to protect myself. Maybe next time they don't just burn the store, huh? I rely on you, Kohler. And I'm willing to help if I can. I don't want to have to identify your remains next time I come in for a tune-up. Neither of us want that. But sometimes, it's better to sweep the ashes under the rug. Now come on! Let's optimize that rig of yours. This procedure. There won't be any surprises like last time. Last time I was surprised by your crazy tech. But now it's totally different. Now I know what's under that hood of yours. And you got me the tool I need. Changes everything. So what are you gonna do exactly? I'm gonna optimize your system. No more worrying about overheating. No more worrying about glitches. Jensen 2.0! Sounds pretty good, right? You can't hide forever. What are you gonna do when Otar comes back? What do you expect from me? I am tangled up with these people now. This is what I get for saying yes to Radich. But what choice did I have? What choice do I have now? Your choice is to tell me what the hell is going on. What does Otar want from you? He... He wants to know what I know about Radich. That Radich is... That Radich needs me. The way you need me, Jensen. You understand? Radich is augmented. The head of the Diwali man. If Otar finds this out, if any of the Diwali finds this out, they are not very open-minded about these things. Yeah, I get it, Kohler. So what are you gonna do? When augmented people ask for help, I help them. I continue to help Radich. All right. I'm ready when you are, Kohler. This won't take long, I promise. And don't worry, man. I never screw up two in a row. I spent a lot of time prepping for this one. Just try not to take anything. Wasn't so bad, right? How do you feel? I feel fine. I feel lighter. I fixed you. Death to all your limits. Whatever implant you want to activate, you activate. Zero consequences. That sounds pretty good. Thanks, Kohler. I appreciate it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get out there and make me proud. Go make use of all that cool shit. Murder scene? Did you see what they did to her? Why are we drawn to such? Noc, dokud už mi nezbyde na uplatky týzdu. Hlasování už bude skončit a budeme svobodní. Za zdraví. She was an augmented journalist, one of the few moderate voices left. Left. Do me a favor, at least pretend That's to look for evidence. You don't think he did it? We can't let them get away. I do he has think to tell he us. did it. I need your help. But I also think we should at she least try to prove it. Please, did they send you to protect me? Anything you say. I recognize you, or neighbors. I've seen you in our building. You're very difficult to miss. By chance, did someone send you to investigate? No, no one sent me. What happened here? It's horrible. An augmented woman was killed, just outside of where we live. She looks like she was my age. Do you have any idea who she was? No. I've never seen her before. It's so sad that nothing will be done about this. Orc victims are not high on the list of police priorities. To them, it's like a dog lying in the street. You... you're not a cop, are you? I work with someone else. Another agency. That's perfect. You outrank the police? Depends who you ask. The detective here. He... he's not willing. I got the feeling he doesn't care. What about you? What's your interest in all this? Morbid curiosity? God, no. I want nothing more than to go home. Detective Montag, he's making me stay. He... he thinks I saw something. Did you see something? Maybe. I think I would rather not say to be honest, because if I had seen something, and if I started talking about it, wouldn't that put me in danger? You may not think much of the police here. I may not think much of them either. But that doesn't mean you should hold back information. They don't have it in them to protect me. They have neither the will nor the courage. Be that as it may, it's still probably your best hope for helping to catch the killer. I know. It's just that I don't trust the police. I would feel safer with someone like you. You have more reason to be invested in this than they do. You're augmented, like the victim was. And you look like you could actually protect me. It's not my case. But maybe you could help. Please, neighbor. Talk to Detective Montag. At least see how it's going. 
make sure he doesn't think he's on vacation just because the victim is an orc. I'll talk to the officer in charge and see where he is with the investigation. If I can help him, I will. Thank you. Suppose I end up remembering something later. Is there a way for me to contact you? You planning to run off on me already? The first chance I get. There are times for standing in the cold, but this isn't one of them. I just want to go home, bolt the door, and never come out again. Of course, I will wait for Detective Montag to say it's okay first. And I'll still try to answer whatever questions you may have. I can give you access to my info link. You should feel free to use it if you have to. Thank you, neighbor. Talk to you about what happened. How come she talks to him and not to me? <sighs> so, Daria was actually talking to you, huh? I could barely get two words out of her. What did she say? Did she see anything? You mean your witness over there? She's... She's not sure yet. <laughs> How can she not be sure? Either she saw something or she didn't. She's scared. She thinks she might be in danger. I told her she'll be fine and that whoever did this would be caught. I'd like to believe that's true. Sure, so would I. But as you can see, the victim was like you, augmented. That makes things a little more complicated, eh? Being a cop in this city, it's not always about doing the right thing, or about doing things the right way. There's no reason this should be complicated. If someone gets killed, you need to find the killer. Whether the victim was an og or not has nothing to do with it. Uh, no favorites before the law, eh? Okay. But what if the law itself is prejudiced, eh? As an officer of the law, wouldn't it be my duty to uphold that prejudice? No, it wouldn't. It's your job to uphold the ideal, to know the difference between right and wrong, and to act accordingly. Uh, you're obviously not a cop, are you? I used to be. For 12 years. I work for Interpol now. Interpol, huh? Listen, off the record, I've been told to forego any unnecessary investigation. I want you to know it's not my idea of how things should be done. Who told you to forego the investigation? <sighs> Men who spend more time making policies than arrests. They want the victim's husband, Johnny Gunn, ex-PMC operative. Heavily augmented. All right. So if you're not comfortable with this, if you know things aren't being handled the way they should, why not do something about it? I thought I just did. Just because my hands are tied doesn't mean Interpol can't conduct a parallel investigation. Crime scene's right over there, and Johnny lives just a couple of blocks from here. I never said I was going to work your case for you. Uh, sure you did. Isn't that more or less the promise you made your little friend over there? She won't talk to a cop because she doesn't trust us. Smart girl. Look, my orders are to arrest the husband. You take a look around, get to Johnny before my guys do. Who knows? Maybe we'll actually learn something. I'll let you know what I find. Careful of the evidence. Go away from the crime scene. It's pretty Who's obvious what happened are? here. Are you a journalist? No, but she was. She had. Enemies. I hear there's been a series of these. That was right, that shit is so common. No, this was good. It's always good. You think I don't know what's going on here? Go away from the crime scene. Sir. 
Just because Montag trusts him doesn't mean I do. Something wrong? <laughs> it makes me scared to say, Yeah, hey, thought as much. Something. You think I don't know what's going on? Enjoying yourself, detective. All right, I have some questions about the murder. Before we go any further with this, I need you to know something about Johnny Gunn. He's... He's not a good man. I may not like how my bosses are targeting him, but that doesn't mean he's innocent. So, you know, just make sure you're here for the right reasons. Why else would I be here? I don't want this to turn into some kind of crusade. Bad men do bad things. In a perfect world, we arrest them for the right reasons, but, well, the world's not always perfect. You'll only arrest the victim's husband if the evidence tells you to, right? It's not enough that he's an AUG, and that your bosses want him to go down. I'll hold my guys off for as long as I can. But unless you can prove someone else killed Angela, or at the very least that Johnny didn't, I don't have much choice. That's why I'm trusting you to talk to him. Give me your honest opinion on what happened here. Yeah. Why are you trusting me exactly? Because you gave me the impression of being qualified. Because I'm big enough to admit that maybe I can use the help and... Between you and me? Because the thought of confronting a man like Johnny Gunn scares the shit out of me. How long have you been a cop? <sighs> Too long. And of all the ways to go out, eh? What do you mean? I mean being assigned a case like this. It's HQ's little joke before sending me off to retirement. Oh, but don't worry about me, eh? I'm a survivor. I can make it through this. This case is a joke to you? I didn't say that. I said it's a joke to HQ. They know I haven't left my desk in years. But that doesn't mean I'm not qualified. Just... just a little rusty. People hold a hell of a grudge against Hawks, ever since the incident. Yes, and? Well, good thing the cops here are such professionals. Part of being a police officer is treating everyone the same, right? Og or no Og. It's not that simple, and you know it. A police force isn't some abstract ideal of what justice and law should be. It's an instrument of those in power, a reflection of the society it protects. I haven't been seeing a whole lot of protection out there. Well, that depends who you ask. I 
I'm here because I don't like the idea of someone killing people right outside my window. Maybe he's out there right now, targeting that poor witness. Or maybe he's just looking for any chance to do it again. Fair enough, Mr. Interpol. Did the killer leave anything behind? Does anything strike you as odd? I don't know. It's a murder, you know? Doesn't matter if you look at it sideways or upside down. It's never going to look normal. I found a print on Angela's neck, next to the contusion marks. It's a partial, so I don't think we can match it to anything. But at least we know the killer left something, and that she was strangled. Huh. A fingerprint. I must have missed that one. This is exactly the kind of evidence I'm talking about. No way Johnny could squirm his way out of something like that. If only we could link it to him. I found a broken needle stuck in the victim's shoulder. The killer might have drugged Angela before killing her. Maybe. But keep in mind, she was an og. Don't you all have to shoot up that new puzz shit? Let's go for the obvious before jumping to any wild conclusions. I'm assuming you know her augments were harvested. The marks on her body make it seem like the killer knew exactly what he was doing. Knew exactly what he wanted. <sighs> The way you said that just now. What about it? The way you described the Og removal. And before, you mentioned a broken needle in the right shoulder? That's right. It reminds me, you know. There was this cop, Smolinski. He used to work in this neighborhood. He had this theory about a copycat. Someone acting just like a dead killer named, um... Zvobotka. You think there's a connection to another case? I don't know yet. But I remember him mentioning something about needles and og removal. Smolinski died in the police station bombing. Whatever files he had would have been moved into temp storage across the street from the bombed out station. Who knows? Maybe it's nothing. I have what I need for now. I should go. Don't forget to question Daria. I don't want to keep her here forever. Well, that is interesting. Ah, just keep moving. Keep the blood pumping. Where are you going? And it's a pleasure to speak with you too, Carson. Did you bring anything to drink? You bust into a man's home, you should at least bring a drink. 
Are you Johnny Gunn? That's right. What do you want? Have you heard about your wife? Which one? Excuse me? I've been married a bunch of times. Which wife are we talking about? Angela's dead. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. They found her body in an alley. Yeah, well, you're not the one to tell me, so... I appreciate your way of trying to break it to me, though. Do you know if she died quick or not? No, I don't. I hope so. Angie didn't deserve to suffer. So you did know already? Your detective friend called, told me to sit tight and wait for you, so here I am, sitting tight, being cooperative. I'm sure you won't mind if I look around. Whatever you say. Why are you still here? You don't seem too broken up about Angela's death. She was your wife, wasn't she? Ex-wife. We were divorced. Is that supposed to explain why you don't care? People die. Whether or not I care is between me and my memories of them. It's got nothing to do with you. What went wrong with your marriage? If you got divorced, then obviously something did. What are you, five? Adults get sick of each other. The ones that don't are just pretending. Lock any two people in a room and they'll learn to hate each other sooner or later. It's the most natural thing in the world. I'm actually surprised. Angie held out as long as she did. You know, people say I'm not very easy to like. You don't say. So Angela left you and you resented her for it. Resented her? <laughs> no. That's not who my resentment is directed toward right now. You resent me? Because I'm trying to figure out who killed her? Because you're treating me like a suspect. Because you're acting like you care more about her than I do. And mostly because you're the first human being to walk into my apartment and talk to me in almost a year. A year! And this is what we're talking about. I resent the situation. Anything else come to mind about Angela? At night, her hair used to get in my nose and make it itchy. It was annoying, but nice. Made me feel human. Where were you tonight? I was out killing Angie. Doing whatever it is they did to her. That's what you think, isn't it? I'm not accusing you of anything. I just want to know what happened. Why? If anyone should want to track down the person who killed her, it should be me. But I choose not to. Case closed. You don't care if her killer is caught or not? No, I don't. I don't get off on vengeance. I say, let the bastard stir in his own damn guilt. Men who kill, I think they do it to get attention. They want to be caught. They want society to spank them just like their daddies did. Now, the real punishment for something like this is living with what you've done. That's not how it works. Why not? For one, finding this killer will ensure they can't do it again. Two, society has a right to protect itself. And three, where were you tonight? In my apartment. Alone. No one but the cockroaches can confirm or deny shit. Convenient, right?
You sure you didn't go anywhere tonight? I went to the bathroom. Twice. Is that a bell tower patch on your jacket? Yeah. So? Let's just say I'm familiar with bell tower. What does that mean? Familiar how? It doesn't mean anything. It's just that I dealt with the company a while back, that's all. Really? You know, you look familiar. We didn't work together, did we? Did you know Giradelli? Or maybe Powell? No. I doubt I knew them personally. That's too bad. We were all in New South Wales together. I thought maybe you... <laughs> Never mind. And you're all doing fine now. Relatively. Australia. You were there during the Civil War? That's right. And that was only the beginning. Not my first choice, believe me, but, uh... Bell Tower wasn't all that big on choice. Send you where they want, make you do what they want, replace parts of you whenever and however they want. I didn't choose to be augmented either. Not when it first happened. Apparently we're supposed to be grateful. Alloy's so much better than skin, right? At least, that's how they sold it to me. For some things it is. Not for everything. I can walk through fire, but sand won't stick between my toes. I can shove a knife through my hand, but I can't trust what I feel. Even my dreams are made of alloy. Both of your hands are made of alloy? Fingers are for human beings, Mr. Gunn. What you have is so much greater. <laughs> and then they told me what they want me to do, and what would happen to me if I didn't. Well, let me tell you something. That's not me anymore. Hasn't been for a very long time. They found a partial print on Angela's neck. It belongs to whoever strangled her. My hands were designed to kill in wars no one's ever heard of. I couldn't leave a trace on someone's skin, even if I wanted to. They did it so you could kill better. So I'd never get caught. Ironic, right? Being a good killer is probably what saves me here. Or, you still think I killed Angela? I didn't come here to arrest or absolve you, only to ask questions. Apology accepted. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to be left alone. Privacy laws first Sources close to the bank tell me that no hacker has ever come close to breaching the blade's defenses. You got me mixed up with someone else. Happens all the time. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. Tomorrow, if there is a tomorrow. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. Nikoho to nezajímá. Užíváte si vyhlídku?
To bych chtěl ze všeho nejvíc. Další. To nás nasrál, že jsi vyfasoval tohle tuším. No, oni skrýzí jedna sletáka. Očekává se, že na seznam poboček přibude Ostrava, Olomou. Můžeme trojit asi. Bothered by those tarballs, guys. By the way, I told Daria to go home. I really don't think she saw anything. Let's talk about the case. All right, so talk. Do you know if the victim had any enemies? I know she and Johnny didn't get along. Other than that, I really couldn't tell you. Were you able to get anything out of the witness? It sounded like she might have seen something. Who? Oh, little Miss Mousy? I was under the impression Daria was your domain. Apparently, I'm not good. 
good enough to talk to. Tell me about the victim's husband, Johnny. He used to work for a private military company, Bell Tower. He's been arrested for all sorts of things in the past. Now don't get me wrong, I believe in evidence. But I also believe in playing the odds. Nine times out of ten, the husband did it. Why are your superiors so eager to pin Johnny for murder? It's gotta be more than just not liking the guy. Standard policy for guys like Johnny. The way they see it, you send a man like him to Golem City, and he's liable to go off the grid, end up with Arkor, God knows who. He becomes ten times more trouble than he's worth. But, if they can charge him with something big, something like murder, well, suddenly he's no trouble at all. Anything I should know about the scene? Anything jump out at you? The dismembered body jumps out at me. Keep in mind, I've been behind a desk for the last 12 years. It all jumps out at me. I found what looks like a grenade fragment. EMP by the looks of it. Killer might have used this to incapacitate her. Interesting. Johnny wouldn't need an EMP to take down his wife. Riot police use EMPs to re-establish public order around here. With all the AUG riots, anti-AUG riots, it wouldn't surprise me if that's all it was. Still, interesting. I found this piece of glass near the body. A pair of broken glasses, maybe? I don't know what to tell you. We're in the back alley of a major city. There's bound to be broken glass. I found this press ID on the victim. Okay, enlighten me. We care about this... why? Angela Gunn was a journalist. Maybe this is work-related. Maybe she uncovered something she wasn't supposed to. Maybe. I don't know. I think I'm finally ready to shed some light on Angela Gunn's murder. That's good news. My bosses are eager to know why I haven't arrested Johnny yet. The truth is, we're not even close. Not yet. Why do you say that? What about Johnny? The more I think about all this, the more I can't shake the feeling. Johnny Gunn killed his wife. Look, I didn't find who the killer is. Sometimes you have to admit there just isn't enough to go on. But the pieces don't fit. Not yet, anyway. But I do know Johnny Gunn didn't kill his wife. How can you be sure? Remember that partial print I found on the victim's throat? What about it? Johnny Gunn hasn't had fingerprints since the Australian Civil War. His hands are made of alloy. If he had strangled her, he wouldn't have left a smudge. Alloy, huh? Shit. So, where does that leave us exactly? We followed the evidence we had. This is where it led us. You mean nowhere? I'm not sure exactly. I think a lot of the pieces are there. They're just not ready to be put together. Not yet. All right. That should be enough for me to get the rope off Johnny's neck. But it doesn't help me solve anything, does it? I mean, unless we learn more, there's no one I can drag in from this. Let's just hope learning more doesn't mean having to meet over another dead body. Hey, rookie! Get over here! It's time to wrap this up. Are. All right, let's call it a night. Let me do my job. All right, let's call it a night.
Daria, are you there? Is that you, neighbor? Are you checking up on me? It's very sweet. Are there any leads? We spent most of our time eliminating suspects. I still don't know who killed Angela. Is that supposed to make me feel better? No, but it's the truth. Just try to be careful. Keep a low profile. If anything happens, if you ever think you're in danger, you know how to reach me. Thank you, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Better have a good reason for digging around in Max Dubai investigation. I thought we'd agreed that Ark is being set up. Someone wants us looking the other way, chasing the obvious target while they prepare their next attack. What? What are you talking about? Come on, Miller, it's too neat. You know as well as I do that Ark didn't hit us in Dubai. Is that so? Who's this someone then? Huh? More blank pages? More ghosts? Like the ones you say took out Rucker? I don't know who they are, not yet, but I know where they are. I've traced them to an old bell tower facility in the Swiss Alps. Bell tower? They're just a bad memory. All their assets were sold off more than a year ago. And I'm sure if we look closely at some of the buyers, we'd be staring at a tangle of untraceable shell companies. You're throwing a lot of assumptions around here. What we need is evidence, Jensen. I told you. Did you even meet with Fletcher? Did you look into the evidence you found at the train station like you said you would? Yeah, and that took me all over town, away from the real doers, just like it was supposed to. So I decided I need to stop blindly following orders and follow my gut instead. Following your gut can sometimes blind you to the details, make you miss things. But I suppose if you've done enough legwork to support it. This bell tower facility, how the hell did you find it?
Nothing was sitting right with me. After the ambush in Dubai and then seeing what happened to Rucker, I had to question our assumptions that Ark was behind everything. So I did what any cop would do. Research. I can't fault you for that, but I'm not sure I can buy it either. Now is a bad time to be going off book. Word of Rucker's death is spreading, and riots are breaking out all over Gollum. If state police can't contain them, we're going to have a major problem on our hands. I can't afford to send the strike team in on a wild goose chase right now. I'm not asking you to send the team. Send me. Me and Chicane. Come again. We do a flyby. Check it out from the air. If it's clear, I slip in, take a look around, and we find out if my theory is correct. And if you're mistaken? Then we focus back on Ark. And I'll never disobey another order again. Right. Chicane, you got enough fuel to reach the Alps? We'll get there, if that's where we're going. Do it. But I stay in the loop. No more rogue agent shit. Copy? Solid copy. All right. Good luck. You'll never disobey another order again. Shit, I can already see your nose growing. I'm not wrong about this. I know that facility has answers. What, are you doubting me too? I think Miller smells a bit of bullshit on it, but it's good enough to get me moving. You ready to light out? Hey, when we get to the Alps, we could get into some action. Are you ready for that? Why? I've been flying hack for the last few years. That's the thing about us naturals, Jensen. We never rust. <laughs> Look, I've been doing this a long time. Been in my share of shit, too. Always managed to pull myself out of it. Fair enough. Just don't leave without me. Hey, listen up. I know we're not exactly pals, and I know I can be an arsehole. But I'm not a fucking arsehole. In fact, I'm offended you'd even say something. That's not what I meant. I'm just messing with you, Jensen. <laughs> you ready? When we first talked, you told me that your limp kept you honest. That's an interesting way of looking at an injury. Your preamble's as thin as soup, man. Don't dance around it, just ask it. I'm only curious. We've all got a story. No, that's not it. What you really want to know is, do I hate him? Men that tore out my knee. His name was Lachlan Beats. He was a laborer. Worked in the mines up near Bendigo before everything went to hell. Beats was a family man who did what he thought he had to do in order to provide for his family. See, back then, nobody could compete with you Ogs when it came to manual labor jobs. So, he made a choice, if you can call it that. And his choice changed your life. You don't resent Beats for what happened? What I resent are the men who coaxed men like him to get augmentations. Men who enforced a system where the rich could buy artificial expertise without thinking about what it would cost all of us in the end. No, I don't resent him. At least not anymore. I was simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. Story of my life. So look. On that sunshiny note, what do you say we put some miles behind us? Not quite. Let me take care of some things first. You know where I'll be 